All right. <clears throat> We've got the floors to a point that we can start on the carpets. He's got the auric brush on the machine, and he's pre-sprayed the traffic areas and the stains, like these over here. So he's not going to be doing the whole carpet with the brush, just the areas that need a little extra agitation. <clears throat> You also want to remember the brush. <clears throat> the brush does not absorb anything. So even though you may see stains being broken up, and you may see things that looks like it's not doing anything to it's because it can't absorb. It's definitely uh, loosening the stains off. This carpet, it may not show on, on, on video, but it's, it's pretty worn out. It's got a lot of dark stuff in it that we're going to try to get out with the bonnet. I remember about, it's been about three and a half years ago, they had us come look at this carpet because they thought they were going to have to replace it because they had a giant. The guy that lived there at the time had spilled a whole bunch of wine all over the living room carpet. And they thought they were going to have to just replace the carpet. And we brought a rug doctor over here and put down some pre spray and took the stain right out. So they saved the carpet. Yeah. And, uh, it, this is the same carpet. Yeah, instead of replacing it, they saved it. And it was a really nice carpet except for the red wine stain. And we've worked on this carpet a few times. We can always get it looking good again, but uh, so far everybody that's lived here has been pretty bad about taking care of it. They don't seem to vacuum. No. Every time someone. Every time someone moves out of here and we come to redo it, it's always really, really filthy. But it usually cleans up, so we'll see if it's still got, you know, one more go left in it. There's a red stain I'm working on right now, and it seems to be getting broken up, so... I'll get the bonnet to try to get it out the rest of the way, and I think I'm going to get it out. And there's a good little stain right there. Well, there's a lot of people that message us asking us to put up more sanitary vacuum videos. Here's the thing, we're trying to put them up as much as we can for you. We know that people like those vacuum videos, so we're trying to get them up all we can. We're as anxious to put them up as other people are to send. We, we like making them. Yeah, we've got, a, we've got a mixed audience. Some people could care less about watching a vacuum, and other people love it. So some people want to see the bonnet cleaning videos. They don't want to see the vacuum videos, and other people, they just want to watch the vacuuming. They don't yeah, care about the bonnet cleaning. And that's cool. We enjoy making the videos of the vacuuming and the bonnet cleaning. But to you, any of you who are waiting for sanitary videos, they're coming. We've got several that just aren't up yet. We don't put them up too much. We don't want to dom try to dominate the news, you know, people's uh, YouTube suggested see. videos. We like to be courteous about it. Did you it. work up at the front door yet? Yeah. Alright. Alright, he's getting ready. Now he needs to completely spray the carpet down now. Yeah. But uh, he's worked on some of the bad areas to give them a little head start. You want to remember the pre spray, the idea behind the pre spray is it helps to break the chemical bond of the dirt and debris that causes the stain. Breaks those substances loose from the carpet fiber because it helps to make them lose their grip, so to speak. And so then they're held in suspension. The pre spray also helps hold them in suspension. And if they're suspended, then if you never did anything else, they'd eventually end up just drying back to the carpet. But what we're going to do is go over with a bonnet, and the bonnet is absorbent. And so the bonnet's going to both scrub the remaining debris that didn't get broken loose by the uh, pre spray yet. It's going to scrub that loose from the carpet and strip it off the fibers, and it's going to absorb the pre-spray 
and all the material that is picked up and to the bonnet and then the bonnets can be taken off the carpet and washed out and all the stuff goes down the drain and it's real it's really real similar to how an extractor works except it doesn't use as much water to do the same thing and the nice thing about the bonnet cleaning is that it does have the ability to scrub the carpets a little better than you're usually going to get with an extractor and so it's not really a matter of which method is the best or anything like that because they all have their place and they all work pretty well if they're done right all right, well, he pre-sprays all of this. I'm going to be a, I gotta watch out the bottom. So. Yeah, it's going to be a few minutes. I'm going to stop the camera because we, uh, once again, are running into a low battery situation. And I don't want to run out of uh, juice before we get done here. So uh, we're going to be pre-spraying everything. And he's got to clean the bonnet. And we'll be right back. So keep watching.